All right, have and have not fans. The theme of this video is going to be in regards to Jeffrey and how is what's the saying like you know it's raining men, hallelujah. I think that's a song, and it's not so much that he's a ladies' man, but more like more men are coming up to him <laughs> left and right than he's ever seen. I mean, we have you know Justin pining after him and creepishly stalking him. I mean, honestly. And I'm not taking sides here. It sort of makes sense that he would come follow Jeffrey just to explain what's going on since Veronica confronted him because he knew that, you know, if he tried using the phone, there was a chance that she would trace the call and whatnot. So there was about maybe 35% of a right for him to try to follow Jeffrey just to tell him everything. But at the same time, I feel like that's going to be his own downfall because he's heeded, you know, Veronica's warnings. And we know how Veronica is whenever she says something or she has a plan, she she implements it. Now, also, I believe I mentioned in another video that, you know, we have Landon who's back now. He's working as a campaign manager for Charles. And in the preview for next week, it looks like him and Jeffrey are like talking at a bar or whatever. And uh, hmm, things just get a little heated. He talks about how he's missed Jeffrey, his butt and everything. I'm just like, oh, crap. So what's interesting enough is that, you know, Jeffrey, the the man he loves in wide isn't gay, yet he has two gay men coming out to him now. And that's pretty kind of funny when you think about it, because remember back in season one, you know, he's all up in the closet, doesn't really have, you know, anybody to pine for except for Wyatt, but he's not gay. Landon helps him become who he is. Then he meets Justin, does the same thing for him. And now he has two men after him. And that's wow, that's crazy. So the theme of this video is again about Jeffrey's uh, multiple men problem, if you will. And I also talked about how we have the scene where it looks like Justin's laying in Jeffrey's bed at the new apartment or, you know, hotel or wherever he's staying at. And I believe David said he's paying for it, you know, just because he wants Jeffrey far away from his mother at the moment. And then we have, of course, you know, Landon, who's being choked out by Justin. It looks like, you know, the fact that. Justin's in the bed without his clothes on leads me to believe that and it also look at the fact that Jeffrey's wearing his clothes in this picture that Jeffrey and Landon are coming back most likely from the bar they were at just to talk or whatever and then Justin's there creepishly waiting in the bed and then he probably says something to set Landon off and that's when the two start fighting because again look at Justin's pose it's not like he got up grabbed Landon dragged him to the bed and choked him it looks like Landon is the one who's trying to fight Justin and then you know they get into a scuffle <laughs> So Jeffrey has more men than he can deal with, given the fact that he's currently trying to get out of the situation he's in with Melissa. And I don't know. It's just too much going on with this guy. There's no telling what's going to happen. I guess you could say a question I want to ask in this video is who should Jeffrey choose? Should it be Melissa because his mom's forcing it into it? him into the situation of them getting married but also because they're kindred spirits and both that they're damaged and used by veronica for her for her own selfish goals should it be landon because landon was like the first uh homosexual character to help jeffrey become who he is should it be justin because you know he's actually somebody who cares that jeffrey cares about him in terms of letting uh well i guess you say allowing himself to be himself but at the same time justin has the worst track record in terms of attacking jeffrey not to mention that insane jealousy and some people say it should be why and honestly i don't think so some people are like well maybe why it's going to turn gay in next season or something like that honestly i don't want that to happen i feel like that would be bad writing in my opinion my opinion so again just a quick video with you know just my thoughts on what's going on with jeffrey as well as what do you think should happen to him and in the end who do you think should he just choose himself? Should he just finish up his uh, college degree in psychology and go on to that field? Because honestly, he's good at what he does. But also remember, Hannah suggested that he goes to therapy to deal with his anger issues because there have been multiple occasions where he's lashed out. So he's trying to, you know, help out everybody else. But I feel at the end of the day, Jeffrey should really try to help himself.